Hey guys, welcome back to another day of 31 days of Halloween. We are starting off this video with our eyes in the process of being covered up, our eyebrows actually. Mm, it kind of went over a little bit better today. So I found this green body paint at Walmart for like $2.98 and I'm gonna tie my hair back really quick, pull my straps down all scandalous like, and I'm gonna take this on a foundation brush and I'm gonna work it down my neck and eventually down my chest and over my shoulders. While my chest is drying, I'm gonna go in with a very, very pale foundation and start to cover my face. And I'm just skipping my eyebrows for right now because this foundation has to be built up a little bit. Obviously we have to have a dance break and an iced coffee break. If you're new here, I have a problem with coffee, so you know. I'm going in with a white concealer underneath my eyes to just help create a little bit more dimension and whiten under my eyes a little bit more. I'm going very heavy handed on it. And sorry, I'm talking to James really fast, but all we're gonna do is blend out our concealer. have an actual translucent powder you could use that but I'm just gonna use this Halloween white face powder I found at Walmart and I'm stamping it with a dry beauty sponge over my eyebrows pretty heavily and then setting my entire face with it Going back in with our green body paint on a flat foundation brush now, I'm going over the jaw a little bit more and kind of flaring it up randomly and blending it up onto my face. Sorry if you hear my kid, she's in the bathtub. Her dad's watching her, I promise. But I'm just gonna kind of blend this up my neck and onto my face just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going back in with that green body paint, whatever is left on my brush, and I've already made a mark for my contour, and I'm just gonna start blending it out and going over it and over it and over it, and just blending until my fingers bleed. The eye look for this is super simple. I'm just gonna take a light green on a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna blend it up over my eyebrow, and through my crease and being very messy with this. I also go ahead and blend this closer to my nose on my inner corner and I actually end up contouring my nose out with it. With the same eyeshadow brush and shade, I'm now going to kind of start bringing it down from my forehead, blending into where I would normally put a contour or bronzing shade. We're just gonna use this green. 
Taking a darker green eyeshadow on a different brush, this is just an eyeshadow packing brush, I'm going to put that into my crease very heavily under my eye and blend it out quite a bit. And I'm going to start to kind of wing my eye out a little bit. I also take this dark green over the contouring areas of my face. I'm also going to kind of go under my bottom lip a little bit just to, I don't know, contour a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in with a matte black eyeshadow and go over the edges of my eye and blend and darken everything out. I'm just going to go in with a green shade of highlighter and go over my cheeks, forehead, nose, and a little bit on my chin. And I also, I think that's all I do. I might put a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eye as well. Now I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and outline my lips and then I'm going to smudge this pretty heavy on my lower waterline and my top waterline and smudge it down a little bit. After going over all of the green highlight with a golden highlight, I'm going to fill in my lips with a black liquid lip from Milani. Pulling my wig cap on and just not taking it all the way back to my hairline completely and I'm going to put some over my forehead to create a scale effect like we did for the mermaid look this year and I'm just going to fill this in with a bunch of shades of gold and green. Don't forget to blend out that harsh ass line that's on your forehead now and I end up actually just taking my fingers and smudging it out a little bit. I'm going to go in with a black liquid eyeliner and create a really big winged eyeliner and then I actually end up creating a few smaller wings slash bottom eyelash marks with the same liner. I'm going in with that same liquid eyeliner on my eyebrows and just creating a few little hair stroke marks, not filling them in completely and not making full eyebrows out of them.
I threw my wig on off screen very quickly and that wig is just from Amazon. It's just a green and black wavy synthetic wig and I decided I did not like my entire chest being green because that paint was just kind of patchy. So I'm going in with some baby wipes and just wiping it off and only leaving my neck, gr my neck green. gonna lie I really like this wig so this Medusa headpiece is from Amazon it was like eight bucks and now I know why it's very cheap plastic shitty and I think it was actually made for a child because it is a headband but it will not stay on my head so I eventually take it off and put it around my neck and I really like the way that looked as well the last thing we're gonna do is take some green eyeshadow and make an ombre lip I'm just adding that to the center of our top and bottom lips and that's pretty much it for this look guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and uh yeah that's it i will see you guys all tomorrow in my next video bye